In this video, we will review the syrup to water ratio. After watching this video, you will know the importance of syrup to water ratio in beverage quality and how to obtain the correct ratio based on the product. Beverages served at the correct ratio will result in satisfied, loyal customers and increased sales. Syrup to water ratio is the amount of syrup mixed with the water when a beverage is dispensed. Before you start this process, be sure to have plenty of syrup in the BIB. In order to perform a syrup to water ratio, you will need the proper tools. Be sure to have a Phillips or slotted screwdriver, the appropriate syrup separator, a ratio cup capable of ratioing regular and high yield syrup. It should have a 5.25 chamber for diet, a 4.75 chamber for sugar base, a high yield Sprite, high yield Diet Coke, and high yield Coca-Cola Classic. The large chamber in the middle is always for water. The first step is to check the water flow rate and adjust if needed. The type of valve determines the water flow rate and the appropriate syrup separator to use. Before you begin, you will need to identify the valve you are working on. The 3.0 valve will have a yellow ring at the top and will have a two-piece nozzle and diffuser assembly. Use the syrup separator with a yellow ring at the top. The proper water flow rate for a 3.0 valve is 10 ounces in 4 seconds. The 4.5 valve will be a one-piece assembly. The separator for the 4.5 will have a red ring at the top. The proper water flow rate for a 4.5 valve is 15 ounces in 4 seconds. Now, check the water flow rate. The flow rate should be 10 ounces in 4 seconds. If it doesn't meet that target, adjust as necessary. To access the flow control adjustment screws, lift the cover. Your water adjustment is always on the left, syrup on the right. Turn the adjustment screws clockwise to increase the flow and counterclockwise to decrease the flow. When the water flow rate is correct, we can now check the ratio. First, we must prime the separator. Place your cup under the syrup separator. Activate the valve until the two liquids are in the grid area. Place your cup on a level surface. You'll need to tap it three times to get the carbonation to settle. Then compare the level of the two liquids. They should be the same level. If they are not, you will need to adjust the syrup. You adjust the syrup flow the same as the water. Remember, clockwise is more, counterclockwise is less. Rinse the cup, then take another sample. If the water and syrup are level, the ratio is correct. If they are not, adjust as needed. Be sure to check the ratio after any adjustments. 